Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I am going to discuss scatter chart in Power BI. Okay, let's see how we can create the scatter chart. But before creating this chart, I will discuss a few points about the scatter chart. So scatter chart is used to display the relationship between two numerical variables. Okay, two continuous variables. And to identify the pattern, correlation and trend in the data. Okay, so let's say you have sales data. And with respect to sales, if you made the sales for so and so amount, and if you get the profit, okay, so you can find out the correlation at what rate, okay, meaning at what rate the or what is the correlation between sales amount and profit, or at what rate it is changing, right? So, a uh, correlation factor will be sitting in the zero to one only, okay, not more than that. So accordingly, you will get to one number, but that that's different. Okay. Um, researchers will use that kind of correlations to perform the calculations. So that is what the one use of scatter chart. Okay. So if you want to find out the outliers, okay, in your data sets, you can use scatter chart. <clears throat> then for the regression analysis purpose, cluster identification. What is cluster? So let's say. Cluster is nothing but where in which area your maximum data points are sitting. Okay, so like this, I can uh, cover this or I can I just simply draw a circle to show you. Okay, I can consider this is what my cluster area where most of the values are sitting. <clears throat> then comparison of distribution we can do with the help of scatter chart. Let's see how we can create this scatter chart in Power BI. Okay, so there is visual uh, called scatter chart. If you go to the uh, this visual, okay, so this is a scatter chart plot. So if you click on this, it will come. And yes, once you start the scatter plot chart, creating a scatter plot chart, what you need to do is you need to bring the fields here. Okay, you can simply drag and drop the fields on the visuals also, it will do. Uh, the for uh, okay so let me say i wanted to create this uh chart for meaning the, this chart for sales amount and profit okay so here it is only showing one point <clears throat> okay and if you want to see the relationship between these two how uh this is working or what is happening with respect to the sales amount if the my sales amount is increasing whether my profit is increasing or not so how you can identify? So you can identify by looking at this graph. Okay. If I draw a single line or, or this or through throughout this point, so this line shows me my profit is linearly increases. Okay. So uh, this is a straight line, very close relationship between profit and sales. Obviously, sales amount increases, but sometimes it may happens uh, that your profit can be decreases. Okay. It depends uh, how it works and it depends upon the business business cases. But yes, that is also situation. So this is what the correlation. This represents the relationship between two variables called sales amount versus profit. What is happening if the sales amount increases? Okay, obviously the profit is going to increase. I can say. Okay. So here we, we have not used summarize. Okay, you, you may want to plot these with respect to any category okay by month okay let's say by month okay if i go to the calendar and if i bring the month okay this visual is not going to work why because i i have stopped the summarization and i would like to enable this now if i enable this this will summarize the values for months on the basis of months okay and it will plot the values okay if i over the point so you can see this is for the march month and what is the uh, sum of sales amount or sum of profit so you can see okay so this is uh so far not it sorted right this is for february this these okay see so this will start from september okay based on the values obviously the points are uh moved here and there but yes so you, we can say this is what the correlation again if we Check that by month. 
Okay, if you want to do the, this for uh, any other category, yes, we can do that also. Okay, uh, even if you want to divide this, okay, let me keep this uh, as it is in the category. <clears throat> okay, so if you want to divide this, you can use the another category as a legend. Okay, if I go to the customer, okay, instead of customer, what I will do, I will select the uh, product category. Okay, and here on visual, we have something called Okay, let me select this visual and legend. Okay, if you bring the product category, it will show you the details for the category wise. It will plot the okay. So this so these are the color codings used here. Uh, you can see these color codes also. So this color clothing is represented by this orange color. Then bikes sales is represented by this color okay and so like this you can analyze the or you can plot the uh, relation category wise also okay right so this is how cattle chart is going to help us to analyze the data i hope you like the content of this video thank you so much for watching the video have a nice day